All right, Monday, get ready, because Nick Cannon's talk show debuts right here on Fox 5 at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he's promoting his new daytime talk show with his very own fresh mobile style bar. That is where you can have a chance to get your hair or your nails done. Nick Cannon joins us right now this morning with the van behind him. Nice to see you, Nick. How you doing? Ah, it's good. Good to see you as well. How you guys been? We're good, but we need some freshening up. Why didn't you bring the van outside? Uh, yeah, good day, the nails York. done. <laughs> Rosanna, you know you are as fresh as can be. Y'all stay fly <laughs> up there. You look amazing. But you can borrow this van whenever you need it. I mean, we got everything from the fellas getting a fresh line hairstyle to the ladies getting together, nails, all of that stuff. So uh, it's, it's going to be here. We're outside of my studio right here in Harlem right now, but we're going all over the city. Right, look good, feel good, do good. And we're so excited for you because you start this brand new daytime talk show. It's been incredible to see your career go from all that on Nickelodeon to doing this right now. What a big, big <laughs> accomplishment. So happy for you. Tell us about the talk show. Thank you. I mean, it's really exciting. It's a dream come true. I mean, like you took it all the way back to my Nickelodeon days. I mean, I kind of been out here for a few decades kind of in this space and uh, to finally get that holy grail of having your own daytime talk show uh, is something that I've been wanting to do all my career. I've done so many things, film, music, you know, stand up, uh, everything, but to actually have that solid hub to connect with an audience each and every day is a dream come true. So, Nick, are we going to see the kids on the show? I know, you know, like, these shows get very personal. And by the way, when you filled in for Wendy, you went there uh, with the personal information stuff. <laughs> Exactly. It's, Rosanna, you know me. This is how I get down. So, you know, know. My, my life is an open book. Uh, I'm pretty uh, open and out there, outspoken and vulnerable, you know. So every aspect of my life I want to share. I don't call them my audience. I share it with my family. So uh, we're going to check in with the family each and every day. Love that. Hey, um, you're nearing the 20th anniversary of Drumline. I have to say that movie inspired me to join band. Are we going to be seeing any of the uh, <laughs> from the members of that that movie on the show? Tell us about some of the guests that are going to be appearing on the show. Man, that would be amazing. We definitely got to do uh, a drumline tribute. Uh, so, but you just made me feel really old. Uh, <laughs> 20 years. I cannot believe that. I feel like it was just the other day we did that. But, I mean, we, we're having some great guests. Uh, my Matt Singer family will be joining us next week as well. I mean, that show premiered last night and it's doing amazing. So, again, anything I'm connected to, I'm bringing them all on this show. My, my best friend of me, Kevin Hart, will, will definitely be on the premiere episode. And, you know, he and I are in the middle of a prank war, so you never know what's going to happen with that. Uh, so anything you've ever seen me uh, do that the audience may love is definitely going to be on this show. I know. you got some pretty good friends in high places we're going to be watching. And by the way, right? Mask Singer, how fun is the Mask Singer? Last night was the premiere. Tonight we have the second part. Um, it, it's just, I, I don't know where you find the energy, Nick, to do it all. <laughs> uh, yeah, like people believe I have a clone or something, but <laughs> it's, it's all me. I'm getting it all in. It's all about that high frequency type of energy. But like you said, Matt Singer premiered last night, and it's off to a bang. It's going to be on again tonight. People got a little upset last night because there was a cliffhanger. You never usually have a cliffhanger in the middle of a premiere, but you'll see tonight uh, there's, a, there's a big elimination that I think a lot of people are going to be shocked and surprised about. Can you give us a hint? Nope. <laughs> Not Come at all. On. You got to watch. I mean, last, <laughs> last night we revealed, you know, Dwight Howard. That was, that was a big thing to where, you know, people, people thought it was Shaq. People thought it was so many different people. So, you know, each, each and every episode is going to be a bigger twist and turn. This is the biggest season we got yet. But you do so many things, but it's more like if you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work at all. But tell us about the van, because I want New Yorkers to be able to get this experience, to get the hair done, get the nails did. You know, where can they find this van and where is it going to be appearing in the city? Yeah, we getting fresh all 
weekend long, all just a lead up to the 27th. I'm trying to keep everybody as fresh as I love to be. And right now, uh, we're outside the studio. We're going to be at 125th and out of Clayton Powell later on today. We're going, all, it's, it's gonna, we're going to be all over. So you, we might, we don't even pull up in Long Island this weekend. You know, it's, it's going to be a good time. So if you see this big red Nick Cannon bus where you can go ahead and get your hair cut, your nails done, all of that stuff. I'm just trying to keep the city fly. You understand. It's free. It's free. Oh, absolutely. It has to be there free. We go. I can't charge people. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I love it. I, we have the rundown of where you're going to be. So today, we're going to be in, you're going to be in Harlem, 125th yes. from 10 to 1. 3 to 6, you're going to be at Columbus Circle, yes. 58th between 8th and 9th. Tomorrow, you'll be in Union Square uh, from 9 to 12. Um, and then from 3 to 6, All you'll be over. in Dumbo in Brooklyn. Saturday, Broadway yeah. Commons Mall in Hicksville, 12 to 4. You get around, Nick Cannon. I have to. That has been a known little fact about me. <laughs> so, so uh, now nah, it's really trying to really involve myself in the community in a real way and not just say, hey, yeah, we're here in Harlem. No, we're, we're here and we're for the community. So, Nick, I'm wondering, what won't you do on your new talk show? What won't I do? That's a great question, because, you know, I'm up for pretty much anything. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, won't be, I won't be boring. That's what I, there <laughs> I won't we go. do anything that's just getting, you know what I mean? It's never going to be a mundane moment. I love that. That's why it's so much fun to watch you. Nick Cannon, thank you so much. All the best. I think we're going to talk to you on Monday, too. I mean, we're, we're really excited Absolutely. about this. I want to talk to you. As much as I possibly can. We should talk every... If you want to talk to me every day, I'm here for you, Rosanna. <laughs> okay, I like that. And we've bre broken bread together. Nick and I have had a little meal together. Yes. We go way we've back. We've had meals. We've hung out. But now you got to get we your hair done and your nails done gossip. together. Yeah, I need to get my hair done by you, Nick. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm not actually doing the hair. That would be a bad thing. <laughs> These people are doing it. That would not be fresh at all. That would be fun, though. <laughs> anyway, Nick Cannon, have a great day. Yeah. Always fun to talk to you. And congrats. <laughs> Likewise. All Take right. care. Aw. We like him. He's yeah. he's really fun to hang out with. His That's show's going to be great. And you know, uh, Wendy starts first, uh, yeah. as you know, or, mm -hmm. our, our girlfriend Wendy, and then Nick right after. It's going to be a powerhouse. How does that guy morning keep up? here on Good Day? When does he know? take vacation? I don't How know. Many shows does he do? I don't. He's making us look bad. <laughs>